So the sun's energy comes down from there and falls on these uh, solar panels and that's the uh, energy I'll be flying with. You can see the uh, cords running up into the top of my workshop there and these uh, panels uh, power a lot of the projects uh, that I make and uh, they just have served me well. Uh, they cost about $300 from Harbor Freight. Uh, today, solar's down under a dollar a watt on panels, so we can get uh, much larger, more powerful panels uh, cheaper than I paid for these. But anyway, that's the, uh, the power that will be carrying me up in the air. Okay, the solar energy comes down uh, through these wires here, uh, through this charge controller. You can see that it's already charging. This uh, LED here means that even with the uh, low level of the sun in the horizon, it's already charging. Comes into my battery pack. Uh, I've got a fairly large capacity battery pack here. I've got a uh, inverter here that can power my uh, shop equipment in the shop here. And uh, so this is my off the grid workshop where I build a lot of, build a lot of my projects. But you can see right now I'm using uh, the energy here to charge this LiPo. It's my LiPo charger. I've got three other batteries here uh, waiting for this one to finish. I'm going to get a uh, LiPo charger that will charge four of these at a time. Then I can just uh, set these batteries on here, uh, let the sun charge them up while I'm at work. When I get home in the evening, I'll have a fresh pack of batteries all ready for another flight.
This is my dad flying his paramotor.
Now comes the moment of truth. Let's check and see what the uh, motor and battery temp is like. Motor's not hot. And my batteries are at 3.5 volts. Major, major success here. Um, that's the, uh, the longest flight I've done yet. And uh, 3.5 volts in all the batteries. Motor's cool. Let's check the speed controller here. Ah, it's cold. Speed controller's cold. Battery's just a little warm. It's just what I wanted to see, so major success. You can see that the uh, the frame is actually a lot bigger than it needs to be, so I could actually decrease the diameter of that circle down to the 28-inch prop, which I may do. But anyway, that's it.